Pollution, a dirty problem. Today we're diving into a topic that's dirtier than a sandbox after a rainstorm, pollution. It's more than just trash. Pollution makes our earth unhealthy and dirty, found in the air, water, and ground. Some pollution is so tiny you need a microscope to see it. Let's explore the types of pollution, their causes, and how we can clean up this mess. Air pollution. Can you see it? Okay, science crew, take a deep breath. Feel that air filling your lungs? Clean air is super important, but it's getting harder to find due to air pollution. The difference between a clear sky and a smoggy one is like night and day. Air pollution affects our atmosphere by contaminating the air we breathe. Air pollution fills the air with harmful particles and gases. One of the biggest culprits is smoke from vehicles and factories. These sources release tons of pollutants into the air every day. Cars, trucks, buses, and airplanes burn fuel, releasing exhaust fumes. Every time we drive or fly, we're contributing to the problem. Factories and power plants, especially those burning coal, release a lot of smoke. This smoke contains harmful chemicals that can travel long distances. Wildfires, often caused by humans, also release tons of smoke and ash. These fires can burn for days or even weeks, adding to the pollution. Smoke contains nasty stuff like carbon monoxide, an invisible gas that's dangerous to breathe. It can cause serious health issues, especially for people with respiratory problems. Air pollution isn't just about smoke, it's also about invisible gases like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides. These gases can react in the atmosphere to form even more harmful pollutants. These pollutants can irritate our lungs, cause eye irritation, headaches, and long-term health problems. Children and the elderly are especially vulnerable. Air pollution also affects the environment, creating acid rain that damages trees, plants, and buildings. This can lead to the loss of biodiversity and harm ecosystems. It's a major contributor to climate change, trapping heat from the sun and causing the Earth's temperature to rise. This warming effect leads to melting glaciers and more extreme weather. This leads to melting glaciers, rising sea levels, and extreme weather events. Coastal areas are particularly at risk from flooding and hurricanes. It's like turning up the thermostat too high. Things start to get uncomfortable. We need to take action to reduce air pollution and protect our planet. Water pollution. Let's dive into water pollution. It's a serious issue affecting our health and the environment. We need to understand how our water gets contaminated and what we can do to stop it. Water is essential for life. Clean water is vital for drinking, cooking, and bathing. But when polluted, it becomes a hazard. Oil spills are a shocking example. Tankers release thousands of gallons of oil into the environment due to accidents or failures. Oil forms a thick layer on water, suffocating marine life and polluting beaches. This affects both animals and people. Cleaning up oil spills is massive and expensive. It requires specialized equipment and manpower and recovery can take years. Factories release wastewater into rivers, lakes, and oceans. This waste can be toxic and harmful to aquatic life and humans. Sewage can end up in our rivers and oceans, especially during heavy rains. It carries harmful pathogens and pollutants. Agriculture is another major source of water pollution. Fertilizers and pesticides wash into rivers and lakes, harming wildlife. Fertilizers cause algae blooms, blocking sunlight and suffocating aquatic life. These blooms create dead zones where no life can survive. Pesticides harm fish, frogs, and other animals. They can accumulate in the food chain affecting humans who consume contaminated fish. Water pollution makes us sick, causing diarrhea, vomiting, and serious diseases. Contaminated water carries bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Swimming in polluted water can cause skin rashes, eye infections, and ear infections. These can be painful and need medical treatment. Drinking contaminated water can lead to gastrointestinal problems. Symptoms range from mild discomfort to severe illness. Oil spills, industrial waste, sewage, and agricultural runoff all pollute our water. Each source requires different approaches to manage. Contaminated water can cause diseases like cholera, typhoid fever, and dysentery. These can be life-threatening, especially in areas with limited medical care. Swimming in polluted water can make you sick. Pollutants can enter your body through your skin, eyes, and mouth. You might get skin rashes, eye infections, or ear infections. These conditions can be uncomfortable and need medical attention. Swallowing contaminated water while swimming can cause gastrointestinal problems. Always check water quality before swimming. Water pollution makes us sick. The impact on our health can be immediate or long-term depending on the pollutants. Drinking contaminated water causes many health problems. It's essential to ensure our water sources are clean and safe. Swimming in polluted water can also make you sick. Always check for warning signs before taking a dip. 
Soil pollution? Soil is the foundation of life on land. Without healthy soil, plants can't grow. Without plants, we lose food and oxygen. The ground supports plant life, which supports animal life, including humans. Healthy soil is full of microorganisms that recycle nutrients. Soil provides nutrients for plants, filters water, and helps regulate the climate. It traps pollutants and stores carbon. But humans pollute soil. Littering and improper waste disposal release harmful chemicals into the soil. Trash and landfills can leach toxic substances into the soil and groundwater. Landfills can leach harmful chemicals like heavy metals and pesticides into the soil and groundwater. Industrial waste contaminates soil and groundwater with toxic chemicals. These pollutants can spread far, affecting large areas and ecosystems. Pesticides and fertilizers build up in the soil, killing beneficial microorganisms and reducing fertility. Mining releases harmful heavy metals into the soil, causing long-term damage. These metals can be absorbed by plants, making them unsafe to eat. Radioactive waste contaminates soil and water, remaining hazardous for thousands of years. Soil pollution affects our food. Plants absorb harmful chemicals entering the food chain. These chemicals can cause health problems for animals and humans. Eating contaminated food can lead to health issues like organ damage and cancer. Soil pollution can release harmful dust particles into the air. These particles can be inhaled, causing respiratory problems. Long-term exposure to polluted air can cause chronic diseases. Soil pollution can affect our water supply. Contaminated soil can carry chemicals into groundwater. Contaminated groundwater can have serious health consequences. Many communities rely on groundwater for drinking water. Contaminating groundwater can lead to waterborne diseases and long-term health effects. By understanding soil pollution, we can take action to reduce it and protect our health and the environment. We've covered a lot of ground today from the air we breathe to the water we drink to the soil beneath our feet. It can be overwhelming to think about all the ways we humans are polluting our planet. But don't despair. There are things we can all do to make a difference. Each of us can make small changes in our daily lives that can add up to a big difference for the planet. Thank you for joining me on this important journey. Like, subscribe, and share this video to join us in discovering more amazing topics together.